Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now one of the first uploads I made to this channel was of a rocking tombstone mechanism. And after many years of being in our haunt, I think it's about time for some upgrades. So let's get to it. So here's where it started nearly seven years ago. And here's what it's looked like in the haunt with the foam surround and tombstone attached. And here's what it looks like today. A small synchronous motor and a series of aluminum bars and brackets. It's a little rough around the edges, but definitely serviceable. So let's get to disassembly. With everything disassembled, I want to reposition the motor and turn it 90 degrees. This will allow me to reconfigure the aluminum bar and keep it from sticking out the back side of the base. So with a flathead screwdriver in hand, I pried the mount off of the base. The mount took a bit of the MDF base with it, but I'll sand it flat before reassembly. With the motor mount turned, I can shift my focus to determining the length of the aluminum push rod that will make the tombstone rock back and forth. This takes a bit of trial and error, but with the motor turned to its lowest point, I can eyeball where the push rod will attach to the upper platform and then cut the aluminum bar down to size. I'll also take this opportunity to put a bend in the push rod. This will allow me to mount it beneath the platform rather than on the side and in perfect alignment with the motor shaft. And since I'm here, I'll add a mounting hole, followed by a small chamfer with a step-up bit. This helps to keep everything nice and tidy. Now I can focus on how the rod will connect to the platform, starting with some small one-inch L brackets. Once the brackets are installed, I can add in a screw, some washers, and a lock nut to keep it in place and then connect it to the motor. I'll also use a few self-tapping screws to reattach the motor to the motor mount. And with everything connected, I can adjust all of the parts until they're perfectly aligned and then glue the motor mount in place with a bit of CA glue. And just to make sure that I have a strong bond, I added in a bit of baking soda to the glue. This helps to set the glue, but also is a great way to add some bulk to the joint for extra stability and to fill in any gaps between the mount and the base. All that's left to do is to brush away the excess and it's time to test it out.
Now, while this hasn't changed the overall appearance very much, it's definitely made it more compact, and that's what I was shooting for all along. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but most importantly, go make something. <laughs>